13th okay 13th august now what we have done yesterday in the last session in the last session we have done the five steps okay the first step we have done what is the first step it is the contract whether the contract is is valid or it is not valid is it right what are the four steps in contract it has to be approved by each party there should be a payment terms and conditions and contract should have commercial value that is the price and there is a probability that the contract will be completed will be paid okay the amount will be paid the second one the step 2 very slowly identify the performance obligation within a contract what what is the performance a prom the, there is a obligation to promise to transfer we are going to deliver a specific good specific product i am purchasing some product means i want that particular product or service to the customer some contracts contains more than one performance some contracts will have the some performance they gave you a very simple example which we all ready know what they say they are selling a car is it they are selling a car it includes what it includes one year free service and maintenance here you will have these offers is it right? here you will have these offers all the time they are saying that yes with car you will get one year service one year service you will get free insurance free registration is that they are talking in terms of all these things you have a free registration will be there one year free insurance will be there is that four years free service will be there is that four years or you they say that 20000 kilometers free service will be there like this they they will they will put the conditions is it right means you will not have one obligation you have more than one obligation you are selling a car as well as you are selling the service an entity might enter a contract with the customer to provide five lectures what they say they say that we are going to provide the test book on the first day of the course they are saying that this is a complete package this is what what nowadays people are are coming with this type of proposals is it right this type of proposal means it is more this contains more than one perform there are distinct performance within the contract what will say the customer can benefit from goods or services on his own or by using or by using resources which are readily available is that distinct performance of obligation within the con contract must be added what is the what is the specific distinct what is the unique obligations is it right they have the they are going to get the benefit of goods or services on its own which is readily available is it right means you you are uh, get getting it as and when it is needed the promise to provide goods separately from other contractual promises they will say that yes you buy a car plus is right you buy car separately you buy services separately and it happens people say this what i will give yesterday i gave you example you are buying a electronic gadget is right you are buy they will what they will do they will say that it is one year warranty it comes with the product is it right it comes with the product plus or they will say that you can buy is right you can buy one year extended warranty is it you are, you are you can buy one year extended warranty separate you are you are identifying it separately is it this is the performance every every sales transaction will may have this type of conditions which are attached to it okay this type of condition attached to it what they gave you an example just read this example
Is it clear to you? Uh, it's mentioned the structures are not separately identifiable. Yes, what they are saying, see, this is, they say that they have to build, they are planning to build the school. Building a school is not only the one, one, one activity. To complete the build, to completely build the school, you should provide other services. Clearing will be there, laying foundation, materials, construction, all the things, installation of equipment and decoration, interior decoration. It is, when we are doing the things, it is a complete package. Is it right? It is a complete package which is ha going to have. Is it right? The customer can benefit from these services individually. Means you, you can purchase separately also. Is it right? You can purchase separately also. But what they are saying, however, these, uh, these services are not separately identified. Because why it is not separately identified? The, they are being contracted to significantly integrate them integrate them into a one output. We are saying that we build the school. Building a school is not only one activity, is it right? They are saying that, see now what they say, we, have, we will come with a concept, 360 degrees solutions. Is it? Complete solutions. We will say that we, have, we are providing a complete solutions to you. Means what? We are providing a solution from A to Z, from beginning to end. Is it beginning to end we are providing the solution. This is what they say. Means one stop. I will say it is we will have we will some banks will say this is a one stop banking. When we say it is a one stop banking, you are providing every service. You are providing com uh, commercial banking service, wealth management services, all the services. Likewise, school is also what they are saying. They are starting from the beginning. What, what they are doing? They are starting from the clearing the site. Is it right? This is the first stage till the interior decoration. Is it right? interior day? We are not covering that, but what will happen if we are taking a complete package, we will have a cost advantage. Both are win-win situations. What, okay, both are going to be in win-win situation. As such, what happens, the startling accounts for all promised services as a single performance obligation. We are going to say that the ob obligation means we are going to do everything at a one, one stop solution. This is what uh, it says. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Fine? No. Yes. The yeah. entity must decide what is the performance obligation. Is it right? What is the per wherever it is given bold? Okay, wherever it is given bold, wherever in the in the steady text or in the solution, just while revising it the second time, third time, fourth time you are revising or first time you are reading, just have make it a point that you read two times okay this is a you adopt the standard procedure to provide the specific goods or service itself what is the what what they say each one specific good we are saying that we will say that is the reason you see the thing whenever you have a invoice is it whenever you have a sales invoice is it whenever you have a sales invoice assume you are buying a laptop is that you are buying a laptop or you are buying a iPhone, any product, any gadget. Is that what they will say? First they will have a date, then they will talk about particulars. When they are talking about particulars, they will mention what, how much is the memory, how much is the processing, processor is how much. Is that how, what is the various things, what are the, what are the microprocessor, what is the storage is how much. Is it? Storage is. Means what we are doing in the in sales invoice, we are talking in terms of the characteristics, specific characteristics. 
Is that so any product you take? You take milk also. I am talking. I am telling about say water also. What they say? It is a hundred ml. Is that it is a hundred ml? You see the invoice. The next time you are purchasing any product, they say hundred ml. They say that these are twenty four bottles. They will give the price. When we are talking about this, is what the we are talking about specific goods or services. To arrange for any other, other another party to provide goods or services. So what happens sometimes? Sometimes we will selling directly. Prince, we are sell, we are purchasing directly. Okay, we are purchasing from the principal. We are purchasing directly from the from the manufacturer. Sometimes what will happen? The manufacturer will sell to the agent, and the agent will do a retail business. Is it right? The agent will do the retail business as such. Okay, one minute. The agent will do the retail. This, likewise, there is what is that is it is the principal principal its, itself that is the main party, or we can purchase it through an agent. Any entity is the principal if. It controls the goods or service before it is transferred. You are selling the product. You are the principal. Is it somebody is going to the buyer? If it is entity is an agent, revenue is recognized based on the fee. Little bit more focused here. Is it? Is a little bit more focused here. What they are saying? If the principal, if you are buying, listen carefully. You are buying from the principal. Is it? You are buying from the principal. Product is hundred. You, they will, they will sell it for how much? They will sell it for hundred. Now, you are buying from a agent. Okay, you are buying from the agent. Principal sell it for hundred. An agent will buy for hundred. But agent will sell it. How much? He will add his own commission. Is it right? He will add his own commission. Assume he is adding ten percent, like ten, and he will sell the product for how much? He will sell the product for one ten. He will sell the product for one ten. Very small, identifiable thing. For the agent, how much is the revenue? For the agent, the revenue is ten. For the principal, the revenue is how much? Hundred. Again, I am saying this. For the agent, is it right? Agent is what? Agent, what he is doing? He is buying the product and he is selling. For him, how much he is getting revenue? His revenue is only ten. Whereas the principal, the for the principal, the revenue is how much? Hundred. The final product value is going to be one ten. We have to divide, segregate like this. That is the reason they are saying the role of the principal and the role of the agent. Is that the role of the principal? The role of the agent. Is that agent will buy the product at hundred and he will sell at one ten. The revenue for the agent is only ten. The revenue for the principal is hundred. Okay, read this example again.
you hear the hundred. Yeah, tell we, me. we cannot consider it as a direct cost. Pardon? The hundred. Ah. We cannot consider it as a direct cost. No, we are not. We are not using that terminology here. We are not using that terminology. That 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 terminology is entirely different. See the thing. No, it is not a direct cost. All those that that is a different uh, issue. Is that we are talking only about what we are we are exclusively talking about the revenue. See the thing. What it says. The same exam. That the same thing they have mentioned here. Of all uh, oils for you operates as a website enables customer to purchase equipment from a range of suppliers okay the supplier delivered the direct to the customers he will deliver but if you are doing through oils for you what happens he will get a commission of how much eight percent sales price is set by that supplier you have various different suppliers are there okay you have supplier one supplier two supplier three supplier four this is what happening in the online okay this is what happening on the online this is what happens in talabat as simple as that understand what this is what happens in talabat that's very very straight example talabat will take the uh, commission for it is it talabat is taking the commission for it fine and once is it customers pay when they place the order all orders are non refundable Take, imagine, Talabat, automatically you imagine everything. Talabat is selling any product? No. Talabat is only delivering the products. From the delivery only, they will get the revenue. They are buying the product, they are taking from the supplier, they will add the commission and they will deliver. The commission is part of the Talabat, the amount which has to be paid to the to the principal suppliers, there are so many suppliers. Is it right? You have a good network of suppliers. Okay, good network of suppliers. Of oils for you is an agent because it does not con control the product. Okay, computer equipment is nothing but a product. Control belongs to whom? Control belongs to the supplier. Supplier will set the prices for his goods and is responsible for fulfilling, fulfilling the orders. You are, you are saying, you are supply, you are ordering to whom? You are ordering through the network, but you will take into consideration who, from which supplier, which place you have to order. Is it? Supplier will fulfill all the, fulfilling the orders, all the requirements. As an agent, deals for you will recognize revenue based on what? based on the commission. How much is the commission for you? Commission for the agent is how much? Commission for the agent is 8%. This is the revenue for the agent. And whatever the price that is set, price I am talking, selling price, okay? Whatever the price set, assume you are setting a, selling a price of 10, 10, 100, take 100, 100 plus 8. This is the revenue for the supplier and this is the revenue for the agent. Take the example of Talabat. Very simple. Nothing is there. Automatically you will enter, understand the entire scenario. Is it okay? Yeah, take your time and understand. Okay, very important. Take your time and understand. I will give you a very simple, easy examples how it is going to work for us. Now, is it what has a, we have covered this warranties, extended warranties, warranties are warranties is an assurance that the product will function as in the what we will we will the product will work. In if this is the case, warranty will be account account. It is an estimate. IES 37, provisions, contingent assets, and contingent liability. If the customer has the option to purchase warranty separately, is that warranty sub? See, nothing is there. This chapter is very easy. You, you, you work out with the real-time example, real-life examples. You will understand this chapter without any, any further uh, anything. Is that? You always say you have the option to purchase warranty separately. 
He said, see, there is nothing like free lunch, okay? The nothing like free lunch that I was, I'm getting it free of cost. No, never it happens. If, you are, if the people are saying free registration, if they are saying that free, free insurance, no, it is not free. The cost will be included somewhere, okay? They will recover from the customer. Warranty separately. I will take it an example of an extended warranty. Then it should be treated as a distinct performance obligation. You are showing, going to say that I am giving you a warranty separately. This means that the portion of transaction price must be allocated. You have to allocate what is the cost of the product, what is the cost of the warranty. We will cover this. Is it right? We will cover this when we are talking about what? When we are talking about the fourth step. Fourth step is what? Fourth step is allocation. Is it? Fourth step is allocation. You have three steps, five steps, okay? You have cost, obligation, price, allocation, and recognition. Okay? Price, or obligation. This is the performance obligation. Step two is what? Step 2 is with respect to performance obligation. Are you clear about this? Yes. Yeah. Fine. Next. Is it? What, that step 3, what it says, what is the price? What, IFR is defined price as the amount of consideration of the entity expected in exchange. Okay, we are fi fixing the price. Sales tax is excluded. Keep it in mind. VAT is excluded, okay, VAT is excluded, what VAT is not price of, because VAT belongs to the government, tax belongs to the government, it is, we should not treat tax as a revenue, is it right, we should not, that is the reason, you see the invoice, next time, next time when you are purchasing any product, you will have all the prices in the yen, we will have something called as VAT. You, when you are having the VAT, you will have different columns, okay? Some columns will, will have VAT included, some are VAT exempted, okay? Some are VAT, it, it is, VAT is, uh, uh, will add VAT, sometimes some products are VAT exempted, okay? And in the end, you will have the VAT as 5%. That, that amount doesn't belong to the business. That amount belongs to whom? It belongs to the government. That is the reason specifically they have mentioned sales tax is excluded. When when you are fixing the price, what we have to consider variable consideration. If you are if you are if you are if you have more number of products, definitely there will be change in prices. Variable consideration. You are using for five products. You are using for one year. You are using for two years. Automatically the the price will change i will give you a small example again i will give you a real real time example you are purchasing data from the telecom service provider is it you are buying a data see the things what will happen they whenever you will get so many offers is it they will give you a one day offer they will give you a one week offer they will give you a four weeks offer they will give you uh, offer with respect to store, we use a data usage also. They say that 1 MP is this much, 2 GB is this much, 4 GB is this much. Is that, this is a variable consideration. Based on the, based on the store usage, based on the data, based on the period, duration, what will happen? The price will change. Is it? The price will change. You are, you, you are, you are, you are, buying a smartphone memory is more the price will change color is different the price will change is that that is variable significant financing co components the significant financing of how you are going to finance is how you are going to pay it sometimes interest is added is that sometimes interest will be there you are buying a car what will happen you are buying a car on loan when you are buying a car on loan People say that the value of the car is 20,000. But we are buying it on a loan. But what we have to you include, we have to include the amount of interest also. People will say that. I will give you an example of loan. People will take housing loan. They say that I have taken a housing loan of 100,000 reals. 
But this is not the only housing loans. What will happen? It will have a interest component also. That also we have to consider. Non-cash consideration. Is that any anything we are giving, anything we are talking in terms of free? Is that anything we are attaching? Sometimes what will happen? They will say that they will be a gift. They will be a voucher. Is that they will be a voucher? There will be some gift, specifically gift. People will say that yes, you you are eligible for a lucky draw. You are you are eligible for a, some gift. Is that that also should be considered? Consideration payable to the customer. How much you are going? What what is the in returns? How much you are going to pay it back to the customers? These are all the things will be considered. That is the reason I told you. Nothing we will say. Never think that something we are getting free of cost is that there is no free lunches is that there is no free lunches at all everything will be will have a price tag okay everything will have a price tag is that if the contract what it says if the contract include variable consideration that must that entity must estimate the amount you have to estimate is that you have to what is the value of that it says that it says that the IFRS 15 says that the estimate can only be included in the price. It is highly probable that there is a significant reversal in the amount of revenue. See the thing. There are, there are, there are two, three things that have been involved here. Is it can only be included in the transaction price if it is highly probable that the significant reversal in the amount cumulative recognized will not occur. Will not when the uncertainty is resolved. Means, see, when what will happen usually, I told you that whenever we purchase any product, what happens? They say that within seven days, goods can be exchanged, but will not get returned. This is one thing we are, we, are, we are understanding. Every invoice, every invoice will have this. When you are buying a product, we will, we will exchange the goods within seven days and cash will never be returned back. Is that cash will never be returned back as such. Okay. Now. They, on the basis of this, they have given you a first question, test your understanding. First, read this one. Discuss the accounting treatment of the above financial statements for the year ended 31st December. First, we will cover, discuss separately each one. 
Besto has experience of providing identical services in the past and is highly probable that number of mistakes made will fall below the accept, accept, acceptable threshold. Number of mistakes. Maybe there is some conditions attached to it. On 1st December, Bresto provides a service to the customers for next 12 months. How much is the consideration? 12 million. Bresto is entitled for how much? 3 million. If, keep it in mind, see the thing, there is, there is a clause is there, if, after 12 months, the number of, the number of mistakes made falls below a certain threshold. Besto is entitled to an extra 3 million. Means what is the condition? The condition is if there is no mistakes, the value of the service is almost, the value of the service is 12 million. Okay. The value of the first service is 12 million. This 12 million is what? See, I am putting a solution here. Is it right? I am putting a solution here. Fine. What they say, the first, the consideration, 12 million is fixed. 12 million you have to pay, is it right? 12 million is, the, the consideration is how much? The consideration is, the consideration is 12 million. The consideration 12, this is fixed, you have to pay, okay? This is fixed, you have to pay. Next, what is the second one? 3 million is variable consideration. Is that 3 million is variable? How much is the variable consideration? Variable consideration is variable consideration is how much? It is 3 million. First, what is the first point they are asking? Point number A. Point number A says that highly probable that number of mistakes will fall below. Number of mistakes will fall below how much? Number of mistakes will fall below the threshold. Is it? Right? Number of mistakes. Is it? Right? Number of mistakes. Is it? Right? Number of mistakes. Highly probable. Highly probable. See the words. Words are important. Less than, less than threshold. Means, how much will be the revenue in case of one in case of point A, what is the revenue? What is the total consideration? Total consideration is how much? Total consideration is how much? There are two types of consideration. One is fixed consideration. Fixed consideration is how much? 12 million. Okay. Fixed consideration is how much? 12 million. Variable is how much? Highly probable that it will not happen. Is it highly probable that it will not happen? Means when there is a total consideration, when there is a highly probable, I am writing this, highly probable, less than threshold. If that is the case, how much is the, is the, uh, is the, uh, is the total consideration, total consideration will be how much? 15 million. Is it right? Total consideration is how much? 15 million. Is it clear to you? Yes. Fine. Total consideration. Total consideration. Total consideration for the year. Is it? Total consideration for the year is how much? For the year is 15 million. Now, what they are asking us? What is the question? 
total consideration is for how much it is how much it is for 15 years 15 million is it right now how much they should see when they have started they have started on 1st december is it right they have started on 1st december 2001 is it right? they have started on 1st december 2001 and they are for and they are asking for how much 31st december 31st december 2000 2001 they are only asking for when they are only asking for a one month Are you clear about this? Are you clear about this? See the thing. On 1st Sept December 2001, <coughs> is it? They, they provide a service to the customer for next 12 months. Next 12 months. Consideration is 12 million. An extra 3 million after 12 months. But what they are asking us, discuss the accounting treatment of the above for the year ended how much? For the year ended 31st December 2001. We have to calculate only for one month. This is for how many months? This is for 12 months. Is that this is for total consideration for the year is over? This is for 12 months. For one month, how much is the dollar 15 million divided by 12 months? It comes to how much? It comes to how much? One point two five. One point two five million. Is it clear to you? Yes. Understand. Is it okay, Maria? This is for question A. Question. One point two five. Yes, one point. This is for question A. Any doubt, just ask me. Any doubt? Yeah. Fine. Yeah. Now, what is the second one? Second one you can do on your own. Second one you can do on your own. What they are saying, understand the question. Only thing is, the concept is, Besto has no experience of providing this service. Okay? And it's unsure that the in, if the number of mistakes made will fall below the threshold. Is it right? They, they, they are unsure because maybe they, there is there is a possibility that the they will cross the mistakes. Okay, they will they will not uh, fulfill the con consideration. If they are not, see, very simple, very straightforward. Don't be very if if there is what they are saying that if they depending on the likelihood likelihood is what what is the likelihood that it says that the maybe is it right? maybe maybe they they will not not fulfill the for fulfill the conditions is it right? they will not fulfill the condition they will not fulfill fulfill the conditions fulfill the threshold limit i will put it like that they will put the threshold limit now if they are not fulfilling the threshold limit can they can they get 3 million extra
Can they get 3 million extra? What is the consideration? When you take the consideration, is it right? When you take the consideration, how much is the fixed consideration? Fixed consideration is 12 million. 12 million they will get at any point of time. Okay? Whereas, variable consideration they will not get. They will not get variable consideration because what they are not sure is that they are unsure that they will they will going to they will they will they will fulfill the requirements of the mistakes means if that is the case there is a highly probable that they will not fulfill the requirement if they are not fulfilling the requirement definitely there will be no variable consideration there will be only fixed consideration is it right? how much is the fixed consideration 12 months this is for how many years? This is for the complete year, total year. Here is that 12 months. It is for total year for 12 months. What they are asking us, they are asking is for us the for one month from 1 to 12, 2001. Is that 1 to 12, 2001 to 31 to 12, 2001. Only for one month they are asking. Is that only for the one month they are asking? Means what will happen if we are talking about the one month 12 12 million okay 12 million divided by 12 months how much you'll get 1 million per month Can you repeat uh, part B, please? Yes. See, what they are saying, B Bristow has no experience of providing. I don't have any experience of providing the service. See, if I, the, if I am having the experience of the providing the service, I will do less mistakes. Okay, I will do less mistakes. When I don't have the, ser provi uh, when I don't have the experience of providing the service, I am new to the market, definitely the uh, mistakes will be more. What is the condition it is attached? What is the, what is the obligation is there? You have to perform it and you have to perform with the, with the less number of mistakes below that threshold level. Okay. What well, there's some level is there below that threshold level. If you perform they, what they will do, they will provide 3 million additional amount okay 3 million extra and we are entitled for 3 million in the first case we are of the in the point number a we are saying that yes we are below the threshold level and we are entitled for 3 million the total will be 15 million that is for one year now we are we are going to calculate it for one month 15 by 12 okay second point what it says May, they are new to the business, no experience. There is a probability that they will do mistakes. They are, they are expecting. If they do mistakes and they, they do more mistakes, more than the limit, they are not entitled for 3 million additional variable consideration. Variable consideration, they are not entitled. If that is the case, they will not get. How much they will get? They will get, they are entitled only to the fixed consideration of 12 million. Variable consideration will be zero. Total consideration is how much? 12 million. This 12 million is for one full year. We have to calculate the consideration for how much? We have to calculate the consideration only for the one month, starting from 1st December till 31st December. 12 million is the total year divided by into 1 by 2 you can say 1 by 12 also you can do okay you can do like this also 12 million 12 million into 1 by 12 both are same either you can do like this or you can do like this how much you'll get you'll get 1 million per month if they don't do mistakes 1.25 million if they are doing the mistakes more than the threshold they will get less amount of consideration. Is it okay? Thank you, doctor. Is it clear, Mariam? Yeah. Fine? Okay.
Note that the product is sold with a right to return. Note that if a product is sold with a right to return, then the consideration is variable. You have, you see, we are, you are so selling it and you're saying that if anything is, anything is problem, then you can return it back. Condition, subject to condition. The best, they should estimate what is the variable consideration. Is that they should say, they say, people are there and it happens. Sometimes any damage is there. What will do? They will say that, yes, if there is any damage, one year, within one year you can, you can return the product. They will say very clearly, if, if they will put a condition, they will say that if seal is broken, we will not take the product back. Is that if seal is broken, we will not take the product back. When, whenever we want to return the product, first what they will do, they will see the seal. Yes, if it is, if there is a seal, then they will, they will take the product back. Otherwise, they will not take the product back. In that case, definitely they will see what is the what what price it has to be fixed. The refund liability is consideration received or receivable that entity does not expect to be entitled to. Is that if that is the case, if there is any any technical fault is there, you can return the product and they will return you the amount. They will return. Sometimes they will say they will return full amount. Sometimes they will say, they, it depends on, it depends on. Sometimes they say we will return 75% of the amount. Is that, that we are not concerned about how much you are returning, how much you are not returning. But we are concerned about how the accounting treatment has to be given. Is that how the accounting is to be given? when the product is sold with the right to return. Is that when the product is sold with right to return. They gave you another small example. See, this is the most interesting part of the study text. For every one concept, they will give you, a, immediately they will give you an example. What is the question? How should the above transaction be accounted for? Read this one. Nardone enters into 50 contracts with customers. Okay, it enters into how many contracts? 50 contracts. Each contract include the sale of one product is how much? Each contract sale value is 1000. How much is the divide it? Okay, divide the sentence. It will be easy. The cost of the order done, what is the cost? Cost is 400. Okay, sale value is 1000. The cost is 400. Cash received upfront, okay, and control of the product transfer. We are receiving the price and we are transferring the control. Customers can return the product within 30 days to receive a full refund. Naradan can sell the return products at a profit. If you are getting any return product, then you can sell it at a profit. 
Naraton has significant ex experience in estimating returns for the product. It estimates that they are estimating 48 products will not be returned. 48 products will not be returned. That means how many products will be returned? It Two products will be returned. Is that the, means when we are saying that there is a condition, is it right? It is, this condition is a variable consideration. This is a variable consideration. Why they are saying variable condition? There is a con, there is a what it says. Forty-eight products will not be returned, and two products will be returned. Is it will will not be returned. And two will be returned. Fine now. How much is the sale? How much is the sale? How much is I will put like this? How much is the how much is the uh, they are saying that uh, Estimated, okay, how much is the estimated, estimated variable consideration? How much is the estimated variable consideration? The estimated variable consideration is 48 products, is it? Right? Times how much each product contract is 1000. It comes to how much? 48,000. Are you clear about this? Yeah. Okay. How much is the how much is the consideration for it? Now, how many products will be returned? How many products will be returned? The refund liability is it right? What is the refund? Should be equal the consideration received. See the thing. The refund liability should equal the consideration received. Is it? What is the refund li liability? If two products are going to be returned, is it right? Refund liability will be how much? Two products, is it right? Two products times 1000. How much is the refund liability? Refund liability is 2000. Is it? Refund means we have to recognize what? We have to recognize estimated variable consideration. We have to, we have to, we have to recognize these things. The estimated variable consideration is 48,000. Refund liability is going to be, the repeat will be 2,000. Are you clear about this? Yes. yes sir. Now, what is the cost of the uh, Products, how much is the cost of the product? If they say that cost of the each product is how much? Cost of the each product is 800. Is that cost of the, sorry, cost of the each product is how much? 400. How much the products probably they will return? The refund liability, how much they, they will return? Two products it will be returned. Is that right? Two products it will be returned. What we have to do? Cost of sales. See the things. I am writing here. Sales will be debit or credit. <coughs> sales credit. is... Uh, pardon? Credit. Credit. Cost of sales. Debit. 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 All expenses and losses. Credit all incomes and gains. Okay, nominal account rule. Is that debit all expenses and losses? Credit all incomes and losses. now how what will happen? Definitely, if it is returned, is it right? It is a separate clause. If return, how much is return? Two products. Is it right? What is the cost times cost? Is it right? How much is the cost? Four hundred. Total will come to how much? Total will come to 800. 
is it right? Eight hundred. If it is return, where we are saying if return, is it right? If return, it will be in where it will be shown in the inventory. Is that right? it will be shown in the inventory? Is that right? if they are shown in the inventory? Fine. Now see the thing. How the flow will work? If it is return, if it is shown in the when we are talking about uh, the cost, cost will be debit. If it is return, it will be shown in the inventory and credit will be given to what? Credit will be what? Credit will be cost of sales. Credit will be cost of sales. Understand the point? See, th this much you, you should, we have to work it out. I am explaining completely in the ways possible. Okay? What they are asking is how the about transaction is going to be accounted. The credit for cost of sales because it will increase, right? Credit will see uh, uh, credit will be cost of sales. Why? See, when 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 cost of sales will be what? See the thing. Cost of sales, cost of sales will be debit. Okay. Cost of sales will be debit. Fine. When 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 the cost of sales will be debit when we are doing the transaction. Is it right? Sales minus cost of sales. Is that right? here what we are doing? Sales minus cost of sales. When the when we are making a cost of sales. What we are doing here, we are making it debit. Is that we are making it debit? Now, there, if there is a refund, if there is a return, if there is a return, what we are doing, we are going to take return of only two products. Okay, we are taking the return of only two products. Each product cost how much? Each product cost eight hundred. What will happen? Your inventory will increase. Is it right? Your in inventory will increase. Debit inventory. Okay. Whenever the asset is increasing, debit. Is it? Whenever the asset is increasing, debit what will do? Debit inventory. How much? Inventory will be 800. Credit what will do? Credit will be your cost of sales is decreasing. Is that your cost of sales is decreasing? Mm -hmm. What will do? Cre cost of sales will be 800. So credit cost of sales because it will it will decrease, right? Yes. Is it credit only subject to the two products? General entries, you should have a good command on that. Only the general entries, general entries will be tested. Is it? Right? See. Debit expenses. Cost of sales is the expenses. Okay. When the transaction happen, we will debit the thing. When there is a return, what will happen? Cost of sales will decrease. When the cost of sales is decreasing, it has to be credited. This you have to de-recognize. Is it what we are doing here? I will put in more in a more specific way. What you are doing? You are you are here. Is it what you are doing here? You are you are de-recognizing. Is it clear to you? Yes. Any, any, you, you ask me, any smallest of the smallest doubt, you ask me why we are making debit, why we are making credit. Okay, don't, don't say just for the sake of saying yes, okay? Anything is there, ask. What is the reason? See, 
you first we have to calculate a value variable consideration 42 not to be returned 2 will be returned we have taken variable consideration for 48 products there is a refund liability is it right? what it has been said it has said somewhere if you if you make it a point where we have done we have done somewhere here with respect to see the thing what we have done here in in that case we have made it very clear here is it that they, then the in case of warranty we have to create provisions contingent liabilities and contingent assets is it contingent liability and contingent assets make it based on the contingent liability or contingent assets we are estimating that probably two two products will be returned when two products will be returned definitely you have to give an accounting treatment whenever they say accounting treatment whenever they say accounting treatment you have to mention what is the debit and what is the credit We have to mention the answer. Pardon? We this, have to mention the journal entry in the answer or what? If you if, if it is meant you have to mention. We have to mention what is debit, what is credit. It it adds value. It adds value to our uh, to our uh, answer. At least you have to mention debit with the inventory will be added. And the cost of sales will be reduced. When they say accounted means by default general entry is required. In every question, every question whatever you are doing, we will write general entries. If you are writing general entries, that is the only point where they will test us knowledge. Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah, Johanna. It is okay, Johanna? Yes. Fine. See, slowly, slowly. We are not, we are not rushing. We are, we are understanding the uh, simplest way. In determining the transaction price, entity must transcend the timing. Is it? Entity must consider, consider the timing. What will happen? See the things. Is it right? What will happen? The, how the sales will work? How the revenue will work? They will say that in usually, and it is a part of the activity. Is it right? If you will have most of the time, what they say nowadays. Nowadays, every transaction will be done on 90 days credit. Understand every transaction, keep it in mind. Now it is a standard rule. 90 days credit. Okay, 90 days you will have. You are you are raising the invoice, it will be done 90 days. Now people will attract us. You are giving within 5 15 days. You are giving within 60 days. Definitely there will be a reduction in price. Is it what is the finance financing benefit you will get? If you are saying that if I am giving you on 90 days, exactly 90 days, see the things. If you take the the global high, uh, markets, global retail markets, okay, global retail markets, global supermarkets. I am not taking the name, but you can understand what I am telling you. Global re uh, hypermarkets, okay, you have the best of the best brands. What they will do, you supply today, by 90 days, the amount will be transferred to your account. 90 days, exactly, means they are getting the credit 
the advantage of 90 days. 90 days is not a small, small period. It is three months. Three months you are getting credit free of interest. Three months you are getting credit free of interest. Think about that. Financing benefits what they will do. That is the reason they have when they were never you are talking about the credit you will have such a huge mar margin in the transaction which has been involved. In a transaction price the entity must consider if the timing of the payments provide the customer with a financing benefit. Even 1% makes a huge difference. IFRS 15 provides the indication, significant financing component. The difference between the amount promised consideration and the selling price of promised goods or services. Is that the difference between the promised consideration and the cash selling price? You, you see the thing. They are talking using the word cash selling price. If I am going to say down payment, see you will say you are going, you are buying any product, negotiation. Everyone will do negotiating. Is it right? Negotiation is not wrong thing. Negotiation means you are having a value of money, time value of money. Is that you have value for money? You will say that somebody will say that the product is 500 reals. Okay. Immediately you will ask what is the cash price? Immediately you will ask what is the cash price. Definitely you will say that the cash price, okay, if it is you are paying cash, you are paying cash, the value will be 475. The value will be 475. If you are not paying cash, what will happen? The value will be 500. If you are paying by credit card, is it right? If you are paying by credit card, you, you will get after some time. Is that you will pay? You will pay after 90 days. And they have, I don't, we have, we don't know what is our time period. They will have, they will not get cash immediately. They will get cash after some time. That is the importance of cash selling price. Is that, that is the importance of cash. We will always ask, tell me what is the cash price. Immediately what we want, we want, we are negotiating. Definitely. Is it right? That is what the financing component. The length of the time between the transfer of promised goods or services and the customer payment date. Once you are seeing that is what, is, what happens, they will say that it is 90 days. You are getting payment after 90 days. Definitely, you are a supplier. When you are a supplier, you will calculate the cost of interest. You will not let it go like that. You will say that yes, whatever the price plus interest you will calculate. Then you will fix the price. Getting my point? Nothing is there. Now you can understand. If I am giving a credit for 90 days, I will say that this is the cost plus I will add what is the interest. Then I will fix the price. If there is a financing component, consideration receivables need to be discounted to present value. C divided by 1 plus R, present value of cash flows. We have done in financial management. The same concept is applied here. Is that? We will use, use the word, what is the rate? What happens? See, value of money will decrease. Is it right? This is the time value of money. Is that time value of money? As the, as the time increases, the value of money will decrease. Value of money will decrease at the discount rate, R. Is that? Value of money de decreases at the discounts, where the risk is high, the value of R will be high. Where the risk is less, the value of R is less. Okay. We are going a step, one step ahead. Okay. We are going one step ahead with respect to financing option. Fin financing option. Now, you read, first you read this one. Explain how this transaction should be accounted for the financial statements of RUD for the year ended 31st December 
keep calculator with you okay i will i will ask you i when whatever i am writing if you are taking the print out if you have taken the print out of this, uh, this uh, notes write down besides the print out only is it right write down beside i will i, I will i will i will make it a point that every notes i will every question on solution i will write see the things red i enters into a contact with the customer to sell an equipment one one on 31st december 2001 control of the equipment will be transferred on the same date is it right control will be transferred is it control will be transferred the price stated in the contract is what is the price the price is going to be 1 million when it is due it is due on 31st december 2003 how many years 2001 is 2000 2002 2003 it comes to how many years after after two years is it right after two years is a small not a small amount it is one million okay market rates available is how much the it is how much 10 percent is it right it is how much 10 percent control will be transferred price is 1 million is it right? and it is going to be transferred on two years okay after two years Is it? when it will the the price stated is due when it is due after two years fine when you for as per the ifrs 15 is it when the payment is done payment is done is it right then revenue should be recognized is that when payment revenue should be when the payment is done or we can say when there is a obligation is it right? obligation you have a see what are the steps the first step is the contract between two people yes there is a contract between two people the second step is there is a obligation that we are going to pay after two years is it probable that it will be done the third is a, there is a price is there is it there is a price is there fine now after two years what they are saying the market rates available to the particular customer are how much 10 percent now what you have to calculate we have to calculate the present value is it right what is the receivables is it right what is the receivables after after two years yeah as on each each step i am right i will write separate separate is it as on 31st December 2003 the receivables will be how much what you have to do you have to calculate the present value what is the what is the formula for present value C divided by 1 plus R to the power of T okay C divided by divided by 1 plus R to the power of T 1 million divided by 1.10 to the power of how much to the power of 2 how much will come how much it will come Have you have the calculator with you? Yes, just a minute, doctor.
Is it 0 0.45? 0 0.45. 45. No. 1 million divided by 1.1 divided by 1.1. How much you'll get? 1 million divided by 1.10 to the power of 2. One point eight. How much? One point eight. No. Five. How much you'll get? Eight hundred twenty six. And after that, comma, what is the value? One divided by one point one one point one. It comes eight hundred twenty six four forty six. Is it right? 826, 446. Are you clear about this? Present value. You have done present value. The same rule we are going to use. Okay. Means you are selling the product now. 31st December 2001. But at what rate? 1 million. But you are receiving the receivables. Receivables after how many years? 2 years. Is it right? After receivables is how many years? 2 years you are receiving. What is the, as for the time value of money, they say very clearly, whenever you are talking in terms of the financing aspect, if there is a financing co component, the, then the consideration receivables need to be discounted. Is it? Need to be discounted to present value using the rate at which the customer will borrow money. Is it you used to be discounted at the at which the customer will borrow money? They are mentioned very clearly. Is it control 31st December? You have to again what we have to do? We have to always there is a contract, there is an obligation that we are going to deliver the product, there is a price element is there. There is a price element is there. But what is the price element? In the price element, there is a financing aspect, is it right? They are financing it. Whenever they are financing it, they, at the rate of 10, at what rate the, per, uh, the customer is buying, at that rate we have to discount the values. After two years, is it right? After two years, as per the time value, as the time increases, the value of the money will decrease. How much he is going to receive after two years? He is going to receive after two years how much? It's not one million, but it is only eight twenty six thousand four forty six. Is it clear to you? Yeah. Okay. Now. Receivables, is it right? Receivables. When you are talking about the receivables, it is, it is an element. I will write receivables. Is it right? Receivables. He is accounted. He is accounted as per IFRS 9. Is it right? IFRS 9, financial instruments. Is it receivables is accounted is accounted as per IFRS 9 financial instruments. I will explain you again. In a way, 31st December they have they sold the equipment. 31st December they have 
transferred the control also. Then, and there is a probable that they will pay after two years. Is it? The payment will be done after two years. Payment is done, revenue will should be recognized, obligation. Fine. After two years, how much is they? We have to calculate the present value. How much is they? C divided by one plus R two. Okay. How much you are going to receive? Eight twenty six. This is the receivables. These receivables. What we have to do? We have to mention receivables will be accounted or recognized. Okay. The receivables will be accounted or recognized as per what? I as per IFRS nine financial instruments. Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Once class is over, now just have a revision. It is not difficult. Okay. I where wherever there is a there is there. I will tell you. What are the non-cash transactions? Any non-cash consideration should be measured at the fair value. What they are saying? See the thing. What are the non-cash considerations? Is it right? If the fair value of it cannot be said. What is the what is the standard for fair value? What is the standard for I, which IAS or IFRS? IFRS three. IFRS three. Business 13. combination. IFRS three is business combination. Thirteen. Thirteen. IFRS 13 is fair value consideration. Any what is the rule? Rule says that any non-cash consideration should be measured at the fair value. Okay, if the fair value is cannot be estimated, then transaction is me measured on the selling price. <coughs> Okay, the first rule says that the fair value should be measured on the 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 non-cash transaction should be measured on the fair value. If fair value is not there, simply straightforward, you have to price on the standard. Now, what is the requirement? Check how much revenue should be recognized for this transaction on the financial statements of Dan. For the year ended 31st December 2000. Now read the scenario. Dan sold a good. Control over the good was transferred. Okay. The consideration received. See the thing. What is the consideration received? They are talking about the consideration. Okay, how much is the one thousand? Is it right? They didn't receive. They didn't receive cash. They received shares. Is it right? What is the fair value? Fair value is fair value is dollar four. Is it right? Fair value is dollar. What is the date they have mentioned? They mentioned that this is happening when. This is happening on first of January two thousand one. Okay, fine. That's okay. Now, is it right? how much we have to recognize? We have to recognize revenue. How much we have to recognize revenue? Okay, recognize revenue as on one one two thousand one. Is it right? one one two thousand one? How much you have to recognize as per the fair value? Is it right? One thousand shares. Is it right? One thousand shares times is it dollar right? four? It comes to how much? Dollar four thousand. Fine. By thirty first December, the shares has a fair value of how much? Four. Is it? By thirty first. By thirty first December. Is it right? The fair value, 31st, the share value in stand has a fair value of how much? It will be. It will be how much? It will be. 
for five. Thousand. It will be five. What we have to do? First, we have to consider the the price of four. Hmm. Four per share. To get four thousand. Four thousand. It is done. We have done this. That is the first step. It's over. So now the difference, but four thousand will be recognized as revenue, right? Yes. Yeah. Then the the difference will be considered separately. Yes. Good. So in this case, it will be as again. Are we selling the shares again? Are we selling? No. The? No. Okay. On thirty first December. Okay. On thirty first December two thousand. How much is the fair value? Fair value is five. Is it fair value is for five? And see the thing. You have an shares. Is it right? You have the shares. What you will do? You will have the shares again. We will cover this in IFRS nine financial instruments in detail. In detail, we will cover this. Okay. Right now, we are not. Doing. What they say there is a separate statement. What will happen? Definitely, there is a there is a gain. Is it right? There is a gain of how much? One thousand. But this gain is not due to any transaction. It is increase in the fair value. Okay. It is increase in the fair value. Other things will come into picture. Right now, we are not talking about that. We are only focusing till now. Okay, we are only focusing what we are what we are doing. Any non -ca non cash transaction is measured at fair value. Okay, non cash transactions is there. It has been done on first January, one thousand shares times four, four thousand done. 31st December is it that there is a change in the fair value? There is a change in the fair value of how much five? It is only an increase in value. There is no relation to very clearly. I am writing here. There is no 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 relation. Is it right? There is a no relation to revenue here. Is that? But value? it will be as. Is it right? And it should not. It will be a fair value. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, it will be as fair value through other comp. Yes. Income. Yes, other comprehensive mm -hmm. income. But what we are we are doing that we are not doing anything. Is right? How much? What is the question? How much revenue should be recognized from this transaction? Read the requirement. Very important. They are asking about the how much revenue should be recognized. How much revenue should be recognized? Revenue should be recognized. How much revenue should be recognized? How much as on one one two thousand one? How much four thousands only? Whatever happened, and the same thing will be there on when. The same thing will be there on thirty first December two thousand one. Value has been increased, but are we are we any again? There is a if there is a transfer again. If there is a transfer, then we have to think about the revenue. But we have to think about the revenue. What has been transferred as on first January two thousand one? This is very important. Okay. All the time, this is where they are asking how much revenue. They are not asking what is the gain, what is the loss, what is other things. We are not asking. They are asking is only the revenue aspect. So when they sell uh, the shares, the 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 difference. I mean the one thousand. It will be reclassified to income statement, right? Yes. See, it will. It will what what we have to do? Uh, uh, whatever is happening, okay? Thirty first, thirty first. I am changing the color, okay? Thirty first December two thousand one. Whatever will happen, it will be accounted as IFRS nine. Whatever the treatment we are giving. 
with respect to financial instruments that treatment we will give you. is it whatever happening for the financial but we are not talking about that treatment we are talking only about what we are talking only about the revenue factor mm -hmm. We are only talking about the revenue. We are not talking about whether we are going to have increase or decrease. That will be that will be treated as per IFRS 9, financial instruments. Are you clear about 4000? It is okay for you? Divide. Divide the things under three different parts. Okay, divide the things under three different parts. The first part is what? The first part is this one. Is that the first part is this one? The second part is this one, and the third part is this one. Okay. Is it okay? Yeah. I can sense from your voice how much you are understanding. Okay, your response, your voice, it will, it will understand. As of now, focus what's happening. Slowly and steadily, we will develop on this. Okay, slowly and steadily, we work on this. Fine. Now, consideration payable to a customer. Is it consideration pay? If the consider consideration is paid to the customer in exchange of distinct goods or service, is that you are paying? We are paying some amount to the customer. Is that you are paying some amount to the customer in exchange for a specific goods or services? It should be accounted as a purchase. You are purchasing. You are not selling. Is that <coughs> means? Think you are purchasing, okay? Till now we think about selling. Now you are thinking about purchasing. What is that? Uh, that consideration paid to a customer is not in exchange for a distinct goods. Assuming that the consideration paid to the customer is not in exchange, but you are paying outrightly, an entity should account it as a reduction of transaction price. Is it? Consideration is paid to the customer in exchange for distinct goods or service. Then it should be accounted for a purchase transaction. Means what happens? You are part, you are you are exchanging some goods. Is it right? You are exchanging. In if you exchange, see what happens? You are giving your old car and you are getting the new car. Understand point? Take example. You are giving an old car and you are getting a new car. In that case, what will happen? It is a sale. It is a revenue. But what happens during this transaction, what, the, what will happen? They will reduce the value of that product. Is it right? They will reduce the value of the product. I told you, in few years back, still there is a, some in some cases happen. You give your old gadgets, you will get new gadgets with upgraded version, and the difference in amount will be adjusted accordingly. Okay, accordingly. What it says here, it has given a small example on that. How much revenue? Keep it in mind. That's very important. We are only talking about the revenue. How much revenue should be recognized by Golden Gate in the year ended 31st December? What it says? Golden Gate enters into a contract with a chain of retail stores. The customer commits to buy 20 million of products over next 12 months. They are committed to buy 20 million of products. The terms of the contract requires to make a payment of how much? 1 million to compensate the customer for changes that it will need to make to the retail stores to accommodate the product.
fine to accommodate the product. Now, see the things. Now, what happens? They have made a commitment. Okay, they have made a commitment of how much? 20 million products. For how many months? Next 12 months. Next 12 months. They have made a commitment of much? They have made a commitment of 20 million. Okay, next 12 months. What they say? They say that fine. If it is a retail store, they will provide how much? They will provide 1 million. To make changes, is it right? To make changes, interior designing, all the things, is it right? To make changes, it will make in the retail store. Changes, changes in retail stores. Is it? Cost of, cost of that. Now, what happens? By 31st December, they have transferred products worth of how much? 4 million only. Get it by, by 31st December, when they have entered the contract, they have entered the contract, they have entered the contract when? Uh, uh, for the next 12 months, fine. They enter with a major, the customer buy 20 million products. The term of the contract to make two, uh, 1 million to compensate the customer for changes to accommodate the product. By the, by the 31st December, they have transferred product worth of how much? 4 million. They have fulfilled all the, all the conditions? No. Is it? Right? They have, they have fulfilled only part condition. But there is an attachment. How much they are going to pay? 1 million. Is that they are going to pay one million? How much they have to usually? How much they have to deduct? They have to deduct one million. But how much value is there? Is it right? How much value they have? They have sold. They have sold only four million. Is that they have sold only for four million? Fine. They have sold only for how much? 4 million. Now, what is what we have to do? How much revenue should be recognized by Golden Gate? By Golden Gate, how much revenue should be recognized? They have sold it for how much? 4 million. If they have sold it for 20 million, what is the what is the uh, what is that uh, uh, amount they are going to pay? They are going to pay 1 million. But if you are going to sell only for 4 million, how much amount we have to? Proportionate amount. Is it right? Proportionate amount to be deducted. Can you tell me how much it is there? Very simple, very easy. How much we have to detect? One million. Why we one million? We have we are if it is for twenty million, we will detect one million. If it is for four million, how much? For twenty million, it is how much? One million. For four million? Question mark. Four divided by twenty into one. How much we'll get? Four divided by twenty into one, how much we'll get? It is there. Point two, yeah. Is it? See, very simple. See, you have to be very little bit, little bit. You have to use. Okay, this is a professional level. 
For 20 million, how much you are they are giving? They are giving you 1 million. Okay? For 4 million, question mark. 4 divided by 20 into 1 million. How much is they? 2.2. Okay? Now, what is the revenue? Is there, what is the revenue? Revenue is 4 million minus 0 0.2 million. It comes to how much? It comes to 3.8 million. This is the revenue. Revenue to be recognized. Is it okay? Is it clear? Yeah. Can you repeat please? Yes, see the things. See, you are selling the product, okay? You are selling the product. They, you will put one condition. If you will sell 20 million worth of goods, I will give you 1 million, uh, 1 million, uh, what they say? To they, if they buy 20 million products next 12 months, I will compensate you by for how much? 1 million. See, I'm selling you a product. You have to create shelf, space, interior decorations, all the things. Is it right? If Toyota is selling cars here, definitely the Toyota brand will give some per amount for the reconstruction, some funding they will provide. They say that you sell for 20 million, I am giving you 1 million, okay? I will give you 1, and that amount will be deducted. Now, by 31st December, how much I have sold? I have give, have, I have uh, value, sale value is how much? Only 4 million. Sale value is only 4 million. Now, for, I cannot claim now, I cannot claim that I have sold for 4 million, I will I will take for 1 million advantage. I cannot do that, okay? I will take the proportionate amount, okay? I will take the proportionate amount. How much is there if you are taking 20 million, is right? If you are taking 1 divided by 20, how much will get 1 divided by 20? It comes to how much? 1 divided by 20, it comes to how much? 5%, okay? It comes to how much? 5%. Is that 1 divided by 20 will, will come to how much? It is 5%. I am eligible for 5% only. Okay? Or, or you can put like this. It's very clear. Is that for, I will write very clearly here again. Is that? I will write, I, I have I, one minute. I will write here on the one side. Okay? For 1 million, is it right? For 20 million, is it right? I am eligible for how much? 1 million. For 20 million of sale, okay? For 20 million of sale, how much I am eligible? I am eligible to get a uh, compensation is how much? Compensation is how much? Compensation is 1 million. For 4 million of sale. Is it? For 4 million of sale. What I have to return? Compensation. Compensation is question mark. Is it right? 4 divided by 20 times 1. It comes to 0. Point dollar, 0. Point 0.2 million. Is it? 0 0.2 million. If we are selling 4 million, you are getting 1 fifth, okay? 1 fifth, you can put like this. Is it 4 divided by 20 is 1 fifth, 20%, okay? It is almost 0 0.2. Okay, now what happening? You have the sale is how much? 4 million. Is that this is the sale, okay? This is the sale and this is the compensation. 
this is the scene and this is the compensation how much is the value of re how much we should recognize we have to recognize 3.8 as per the ifrs 15 how much we have to recognize is it okay yes doctor thanks yes madam is it okay yeah fine no can we complete this step 4 Can we stop here, please? Huh? Can we stop here? Yeah, that's why I'm asking you. Okay, that's why I'm asking you. 